Coach Peters inspiring the boys with some words of wisdom. We're also down two Blues players, Sammy Tate under the weather, and Gilly Harrison watching the Calgary Flames lose to the Buffalo Sabres. Looks like we're gonna go with Camden Net between the pipes again. Hawkins, Wazchuk, and Riley up front. Colin and Samuel on the back end. And we're off. Henry Hawkins is gonna pick this puck up, take it down into the corner, sends it back out in front. Riley to Mickey. Mickey pulls it up, sets it, hits a Orangeville player and out, they break it. Oh, Samuel loses control of the puck a little bit, and they're going to send it deep down low. Blues send it in. And here comes Orangeville into the zone. Shot on net. Cam's going to get a cover. First shot of the game. Though we're down coaches and players, one of the most important members of our team, Tommy Roblart here, so we will have accurate stats today. Orangeville flips the puck out, and we've got a souvenir here, folks. Tom's gonna go get it. What can't this kid do? Just trying to get the uh, the link here for my parents. Pardon me, not sure if mom and dad are watching. All right, here comes Kane Reed. He's gonna come in on the defenseman. Kaner gets it poke checked away. Blues D changing. And they just can't keep it in and they send it in. Blues clear the zone. Forward's gonna go for a change. Standoff causing a little bit of havoc. Otis tries to poke it off his stick. Orangeville tries to get it into the slot and it's not there. Colin's gonna take it behind the net, sends it up to Otis, just misses the stick back to the Orangeville D. Orangeville cuts in here now. They're gonna get into the slot, a little drop pass shot, way wide. Brando fighting with their number four, pass in front, nobody there. And Otis tries to come out. Here we go, pucks up to Mason Peters. Mason's got Otis, tries to send it cross ice to Brandon. Orangeville picks it off. Blues were thinking about changing, couldn't get the D to change. Puck loose in the neutral zone and poked away by Otis. Colin's gonna get, go for a skate here, one on five. Two kids on this Orangeville team, taller than me as I walk past them in their skates. Turnover by the Blues. Shot, Cam, belly save. It's 2 19 into the game. Blues, zero. Flyers, zero. Henry Hawkins up into the offensive zone. Poked away by the Orangeville defenseman, and they're gonna come back the other way. Andrew Stevenson jams on the brakes. He's gonna get a little bit of a skate. He gives it to Henry. Henry up into the center. Oh, poked by Orangeville. They cut in. Henry pokes that one away. Andrew, soft pass up to Mickey. One hands it past the D, and Henry's gonna put a little bit of pressure on them. They cut away, and the Blues get a good change. Good poke away by Samuel there. Riley tries to get it out, sent back down low by Orangeville. Collins gonna pick this up, jams on the break behind the net, blows the tire, spins around, he's gonna go again. Passes it up to Henry. Henry tries to soft pass, that puck got out, and we're gonna get an offside with just over three minutes to go in action here. Puck down in the Orangeville zone. Blues forwards come in, Roblar's gonna get it in the slot, down to Reed, Reed tries to get back out in front, hits the skate and bounces away. Orangeville tries a soft pass up 
Cullen picks it off. He sends it back up the other way, past their D, down low. Roblar is going to go cause a little bit of havoc. And they flip it up. Connor Rudy is going to get that over the red line. And whoa, well, they're going to send him back down to our zone because that hit us while we were offside. Almost caught them with too many men on the ice. Oh, they're going to go all the way down in our zone. I don't know what this call is here. I don't think intentional icings go down, or offsides go down that far. But anyway, here we go. Kostandoff's going to break in into the corner. James James on the brakes. He's got a guy in the slot. Great look by James Kaner. Just poked away. And Orangeville cuts back the other way. Three on two. Poked the good neutral zone defense. Roblar is going to go off one on two. Blue's getting an offensive change in their big defenseman. Pokes that one away. Dumped deep down in the blue zone. Shot and save. All right, Brandon Rice in the face-off circle. One by Orangeville. Otis keeps it in though. And they're gonna come back the other way. Flipped up Colin with a nice pick off of that cross ice pass. Samuel Gillis. Oh, little delay there. Big brother picks it up. Orangeville D cuts in. Puck drops into the blue zone. Here comes Brennan, he's gonna pick this puck up. He's gonna have a little bit of room to skate, but poked away by big 96. Colin cuts in. <laughs> puck is just sticking on the ice. Oh, Otis has got a little bit of a move on uh, this guy here. The, uh, it's a wider ice surface here, folks. So I think you'll see that there's, when the puck's on the wide side of the ice, the benches, there are going to be some plays here, especially with the, uh, Doors of the box really deep. Um, it's going to take a tough bounce, and Kim is just going to cover it up, get a whistle. Uh, the, the defensive doors are very deep in the zone, so you, we could see a play or two here today where they can come in off the weak side or the strong side and get a shot because the, the line changes. Mickey with the win of the draw. Stevenson soft passes it up, hits the defenseman skate, but it comes out. Riley fighting for it. Shot, hits the linesman. I think it got him in the head. He's okay, he says. Shot on cam, pads it to the, sit, the corner. Bounces out, Henry's there. He's gonna get it up to Riley. Dumped back in by Orangeville. Nice pinch by the defenseman. Rudy, back up to Hawkins. Hawkins to Brown. Brown's got a little bit of space. Blues are changing, Riley in on his own. Riley, one on three, fighting for it. Roblard picks up the loose puck. Roblar passes it in front, hits an Orangeville player, tries a shot, can't get it on net. Back to Gillis. Riley gonna go get the change. Loose puck here, Kaner picks it up, sends it down low. James gonna come down, tries to fight off the big guy. Oh, Luke blows the tire into the bars. He looks up, uh, all right. And Orangeville comes back out the other way. Three minutes to go in the first period. Blue's got one shot. They've maybe got two or three. Haven't had too many really big scoring chances yet. I should be saying things like, oh, shot, pass that by Cam. That got through, that was a nice one for him to catch at the last second to get the pad save down. Cullen picks this one off. Probably shouldn't be talking about the lack of scoring opportunities when the puck's in our end. That's me just asking for it. James is gonna come down. Their defenseman pinches it off the board and it's loose to their guy on the slot. Good uh, back check by Otis there. Back to the defenseman. Shot, Cammy, glove save, saving that handsome face. Rice wins the draw. They cut it off, send it back behind our net. 
Blues were standing around waiting for somebody to go get the puck. Nobody did. But now we've got it and we're going to break out three on two. Peters, Lewis. Peters drop shot, pass to Lewis. Oh, just wide. Almost snuck it through the blocker on the drop pass by Mason Peters. Brandos tries to send it in front. Not quite a high stick, I guess. Back into the middle. And Orangeville picks it up. Their big guy, on our big guy. Colin sends it into the corner. Brandon fighting for it too. Brandon's gonna come up with it. He gets it up to Otis off the boards. We're gonna come down, pass to Mace. Mason down in the corner, poked away. Brando cuts in, Brandon Rice, short side, goal! Brandon Rice gives the Blues a one nothing lead with 1.28 to go. Looks like assist from Peters and uh, Lewis there. Now, Robbie, I'm not sure, but when you're keeping the stats at home, I think Otis gets an assist there, but not the plus, because he'd gone to the bench for the line change. Orangeville right back to it. Stevenson's stick gets in the way and pokes it, a, pokes it a, out of play, harm's way. Harm's way, we're going with harm's way. All right, here we go. Riley, up to Mickey. Mickey dumps it in, clear to the corner by their goalie. Almost got a fun bounce for us there back out in front. But no harm, no foul. They come back the other way. Try to pass, Colin pokes it out of the zone and Mickey rushes down. Their D, it's got a little bit of skating room, pretty close to offside. Cam, save, into the corner. Roblard, up to Reed. Kanner's got it. 38 seconds to go here. Cannon Roblard coming down. Kanner into the corner. Jams on the brakes. He sees James. Oh, a little bit of a fan on it, but it was almost a perfect pass to Roblard. But nice job by their defenseman to pick up the stick. And we're down to 22 seconds remaining here in the first period with your Dundas Blues leading 1-0. Orangeville back into the zone, probably the last rush of the uh, period. Good stop by Stevenson. And the boys say, no, Mr. Danette, we're gonna get one more play here. Costando shot, pad save. And with that, folks, we're gonna end the first period with your Dundas Blues leading 1-0. And we're gonna bring in our uh, handsome stack guy here, Tommy. 6-4 for Orangeville. So shots are 6-4 Orangeville. And Tom, come here, I need a little bit. What are you seeing out there? What are you seeing? What do the Blues got to do a little bit better here in the uh, in the second uh, the period? Defensive changes. Defensive changes, yeah, they're struggling with the, uh, the door on the back yeah. there, eh? Yeah. And with only four guys, they're probably going to get tired. Do you think uh, do you think the coaches put Gatorade in the uh, water bottles or just water today? Just water. Just water. Oh, you know what? We'll have to take a we'll have to talk about if the D looked tired after the end of the second. Okay. okay. All right. Appreciate you. You go. You want to say hi to anybody? Yeah. Who are you gonna say hi to? Hi, G. There we go. All right, folks. We're gonna be back here with your Blues leading one nothing. Peters. Rice, the goal scorer, and Lewis up front. Double Gillis action in the back. And in net, Camden Danette. Otis sends it up. Brandon crushes down. Colin dances around one guy, two guys. Gonna come in one on five, gives him, almost got himself some space. Steals the puck again. In the corner, a little jam on the brakes. He's dancing, he's dangling. He's gonna bring it all the way out, sees his brother. Gillis, to Gillis, a shot tipped, oh, just wide. Oh my, so close. Puck in front, Otis Lewis. Picked away. Otis Lewis in, shot a little bit wide. Colin <laughs> and Mace, not sure what was going on there, but. 
Puck's gonna go back down behind our net where Gillis is gonna pick up. He's got Lewis. We can get it up there. Otis is gonna break in. We're not offside. A shot. I think Otis was a little bit tired and he sends in a shot and they cover it. Otis's dad, Bobby Hus Bobby's husband here today, enjoying the game. Uh, Bobby, we miss you. But nice that you sent Bobby's husband here to watch the game. All right, folks, 13.44 to go here in the second. Hawkins, Washchuk, and Riley. Orangeville D got the puck. Hawkins, oh, loose puck, and they're gonna just come out with another good oh, offside. Ooh. The Orangeville uh, parents disagree. Now, folks, I don't know if you've noticed, but uh, we're having a pretty good day here because we've got a live scoreboard up on, uh, on the uh, scoreboard here because we've added uh, Henry in, pass in front, Riley. Skate, Henry, shot, saved by the goalie. Nice, beauty save. Henry back in front, poke checked away by their D. Samuel's gonna come in, hits the shin pad. Cullen's gonna keep it in. Off the blue line and into the bench. Danielle Washuk is doing our uh, scoreboard for us today and it, on her 16th birthday. So happy birthday to her and we continue to grow the biggest production of youth hockey, probably almost anywhere in Canada. We'll know we'll tru truly have made it when we get a broadcast truck uh, out in the driveway, but I probably shouldn't be saying things like this because Joe might start to get some ideas. James comes in, tries to poke it away, says, hope mom's having a great vacation in Miami. And if you're watching this, mom, you should be doing different things in Miami. All right. Puck down in our end. Their guy from his knees tries to get out in front, poked away. Loose puck. Just wide. Samuel's got a little bit of time. Nice pass up to Kaner. Blues are going to break out. Three on two. Because standoff to Roblard. Change here. Roblard causing a little bit of havoc. And their defenseman, 78 Myers, comes down. Poked away by Brandon Rice. Loose puck up to Otis. He's going to come in again. Otis Lewis poked away to Rice. Shot. Oh, pad save. And now Orangeville is going to come out one on one. Try to go around our D. Back check, strong. Little bit soft shot, but great job by the D there. Really turned a potential scoring opportunity into an easy save for Camdenette. So now with this deep, uh, oh, Brando with a nice cut. The line changes by the forwards now, uh, interesting with the, the, it's so deep in the zone. And the Blues have got caught on a change here. Puck down low, Mickey's gonna pick it up. He's got Mason and Henry. Henry on that nice pass by Mickey. Uh, Blues get lucky there. They were definitely offside, uh, but no call. Um, and we'll take it. All right, out comes Orangeville the other way. And maybe we wanted that offside. Poke check back away by Colin and sent down deep into the Blues zone. Samuel knocked down Colin, uh, Mickey up to Hawkins. Hawkins to Riley. Puck in the blue line. Up we go. Oh! <laughs> Ruff almost took one in the face there. I think he gave the young man some words about watching where he's shooting the puck. Cross ice pass, almost picked off, but we're gonna, oh! This puck is bouncing. 96 into the slot, good back check by Henry. Loose puck, Cam, bad save. Rebound, poked home by the big man. And with 10-15 to go, it's one to one. Blues back the other way. Roblard in, so oh, tipped, almost a good shot there. 
Pass up, Orangeville got us turned the other way. Shot, glove saved by Cam, just poked it up over the net. Yes, outside for Yeah. All right, folks, we're doing the cameraman. Oh, they break in, try and get it out front, poked away. And the Blues clear the zone. Kostanov's going to pick that puck up. He's going to, they're going to come back the other way. Their goal scorer here, the big guy. Steven says, thanks but no thanks, and pokes it away. Cameraman, play-by-play -play guy, having a great time. Back to their point, shot, tipped. It's in the slot. We poke it away. Big save by Danette there again. And Stevenson says, I'm going to ice that. That actually hit their defenseman's skate stick, but we don't get the call. And it goes all the way down into our zone. Joe's working on rebooting the feed, but we'll have this part of the broadcast here live on the replay. Brandon Rice into the zone circle. Drawn back. Shot. Hits the body. Brando's going to pick this up. Brando sends it up to Otis. Otis drops it to Brando. He's into the zone. Tries to go through their defenseman. And it hits the skate and he's unable to get around him. Their guys drop past it. A pretty ridiculous offside and then shot. And I believe we are back. All right, Rice pokes that down and into the zone. Brandon fighting for the puck. Comes out in the, and poked away. Samuel. Off the boards, hits the referee, stays in the zone. Just tried to shoot it in, hit a skate and bounces out of the Blues defensive zone. Riley putting some pressure on and they're gonna bounce it down into our end where Samuel picks it up. All right, we're back. Pardon the technical uh, difficulties here, folks. Not all these uh, Tri-County communities can have the great Wi-Fi that Dundas Minor Hockey has at the beautiful JL Greitmeyer Arena. All right, their guy, big shot, blocker. Nice save by Cammy. Nice play by that guy to create a little bit of space and get a shot off. And Colin Gillis is gonna break this puck out. Blues are coming down three on two. The big man cuts in to the slot. He's dangling. They poke it away. It's gonna get back to Connor. Connor shot. Nobody in the slot. And up and it goes. Connor keeps that puck in. Down to Henry. Henry around one guy. The puck just will not stick, sit on our stick when we want to. Henry shot and right into the Flyers logo where we stop it for a whistle. 7.37 to go. Oh, getting a lot of love for the scoreboard. Good job by the Waschuk team. You know, folks, I don't know if you know this, but we are starting to watch the young men on this team to go from uh, boys to men, ABC, DBD. Um, two blues that I know of have celebrated birthdays in, uh, early in February here. Colin Gills, now a teenager, uh, and Camden Danette as well. So both of those guys, you know, very similar in height and shape and age. Uh, all the way, that, well, this guy just dancing around our guys. Shot, high. Roblard tries to get it out, stopped by their guys. Oh, Kaner knocked down, and we still will not get a call here, folks. James is going to pick it up. James passes off of Ryan's skate, and down low it goes. Orangeville trying to get it out. Kaner glove can't quite get a hole. He does. Just sends it back down low. Roblar's going to go in. He's fighting off the defenseman. This is pretty close to a hook. We're getting our guys changed, if nothing else, with the puck in the offensive zone. Ryan fighting off two defensemen. And we get the full line change down in the zone. That's off the skate. Connor up to Otis. Knocked off the puck. Shot in and Cam's gonna get us a cover and a whistle with 6.10 to go in the second period. Solid B plus performance thus far uh, by the, uh, the DJ here, liking a lot of the tunes. 
same you'll kill us. Oh, here goes Brandon Rice. He's gonna get his wheels going. Blues are gonna break in. Three on two. Rice tries to go around their defenseman. Toe kicked it away. And out it comes, Samuel. Puck through. Brandon dancing through everybody today. Brandon shot, pad safe in the zone and knocked down. Otis gets knocked off the puck. Referees keeping the whistle in the pocket so far. We are almost uh, 20 minutes into the action here and yet to have a penalty, though the game is getting a little bit chippier as we go along, mostly with our guys getting run over by their guys. Orangeville goalie tries to poke it away. Colin bounces off his stick. Blue's got to clear the zone. Colin's got it. Colin's going to start skating. He's going around one, two, pucks in. And they come back the other way. One on one, Samuel. Back check by Colin and Samuel. Knock that guy down, knock him off the puck. Pucks up to Hawkins. Hawkins jumps over a stick to the blue line. Sent back down low by the D. Samuel takes the puck. Uh, now we're gonna get a penalty on, I don't know what we got going on here. I think we may have taken the penalty. Um, Looks like, I think Colin might have decked the guy in front. All right, so again, probably shouldn't have brought up the fact that there were no penalties because we've now got a guy in the box. Not that I believe in these things, but I know some of you do. James is gonna poke that one out. And Orangeville is gonna pass it around the back of the zone and they're gonna come in Pass in front, we pick it off in the slot. The big guy, the goal scorer, hits the skate. Back to the point. James causing pressure, loose puck. Blues just can't get to it. Their defenseman in, poked away by Connor. And James is gonna break out and send it in. Hits the guy, their defenseman in the face. And Orangeville comes back the other way. 4.15 to go, 1.18 in the penalty. Orangeville, pass. They're gonna get this back to the point. Oh, he falls down, and we should be able to break it out here. Kaner just trying to get it out. They are struggling with these. Both, uh, both of the um, doors are in the, in the zone. It's a very, 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 very small neutral zone here. Orangeville, down low. Pass in front, cut off and two backhands, and we try and get it out, and we are finally gonna get the ice. Kane's gonna go to the bench. Rudy's gonna go to the bench. Stevenson's gonna go to the bench. Collins in the box, so one of them had to stay on, and Samuel tries to dump it down. 30 seconds to go on the penalty, 3.26 to go on the second. Otis, four checks, causes a turnover behind the net, Otis. Dancing, keeping that puck down low, doing a great job. He's penalty killing. He's working his way around. He's finally knocked off the puck, but a good 16-17's burned by Otis Lewis behind the net. And Orangeville is gonna get one last push on this power play. Down into the corner we go. 3.02 left here. Two and the penalty is over. And the puck is on the ground. And we're gonna get a whistle. Back to uh, shot, Cammy, pad save. Their, their point shots have been getting through here. All right, Gillis cuts in. Samuel Gillis doing his best, oh, in front! Oh, just can't get home. Samuel learning something from uh, Big Brother there, went on a nice skate. 2.35 to go. Rice in the circle. They win it. Otis picks it off the pass, so they corral the loose puck, and it's back to Colin. Well, 
One of their D's passes it. Samuel pokes it down into the corner. Samuel's going to take a second, sends it up to Otis. And Orangeville able to keep it in. Samuel up to Mace. Point, shot. Oh, Colin cuts that one off. Loose puck. Gillis brothers working well together today. Otis dances around one guy. He's gonna come down one on three. He sends it into the legs of their defenseman. They're bouncing it off of skates, but no real opportunity there. Cullen tries to get it in. Blues are not called for too many men on the ice. All five Blues on the back check now. Cullen sends it up. Try and get it out, they keep it in. They go cross ice, not offside. And we're gonna come back the other way. Henry, up to Mickey. Mickey cuts in, tries to go through the legs, hits the skating down low. Riley's knocked off the puck. 1-1, one, one, 58 seconds to go. Henry comes out of a pool of Orangeville players. Stevenson, Blues are doing a defensive zone change. Everybody's got to clear. Everybody's got to clear. We're going to give Orangeville a little bit of room to skate here. Their guy comes in, 33 seconds to go. Henry tries to get it out. Roblox got it, 22 seconds left. Puck's gonna go through, Cammy's gonna get a cover. We're gonna get a whistle and with 14 and a half to go, the last few seconds of this second period. Pretty good hockey game here. Roblard with the poke. Cam and cover. And we got 1.2 seconds to go. I'd pull my goalie here. I can't I can't imagine they're gonna do it, but I would. Oh no go. No go. Alright folks, we're at the end of two. Blues won, Flyers won. And we're gonna head to a 15 minute third period. Tommy, what do we got here? 10 to nine Dundas, so what does that put us at total? That puts us at 15, 14. So pretty even in shots and pretty even on goals. What do you think, did they, how'd we do on the line changes there? That's a long bench, eh? Oh, so see, how Tom, Tom's saying the forwards got to be a little bit better on the line changes here, folks. So interesting if I'm just taking a quick look here to see what would happen here with a tie for us. Tie, tie will be interesting. Tie will be interesting. Tie probably will mean we go in the the one or the two three five seven bracket instead of the one four six eight. Not sure what coach wants. He doesn't return my calls. James with a soft shot in net. Although I did, have, I did have to go through the parent rep to complain about my uh, kids' playing time. So remember, folks, that's there to make sure we're all reasonable human beings. Orangeville sends it deep down into our zone, and Samuel's going to grab the puck. Orangeville back to the point. Shot. Hits the skate, it's loose in front, just wide. Oh, tough bounce just to the wrong spot. James gets knocked down. Samuel is gonna bring this puck up. It's gonna bounce off the boards and it's gonna clear the zone. Kanner knocks it down with his glove. Kanner dances around one guy. Kanner dances around two guy. Kanner tries a toe drag. Loose puck though. Otis 
fights for it, and it bounces back to Stevenson. Stevenson over to Rudy. Rudy, a nice pass to Rice. Rice, shot, low and wide. Otis, dangles. Two Orangeville players knock him off the puck, though, and they're gonna come back out the other way. Good back check by Brando. They're changing their D, so they've got no one on the point right now. Here they come, and that puck is loose into their guy in front. Poked away, loose puck, Otis gets it out, and they're gonna send it deep down into our zone. Orangeville going for the change on the forwards. Stevenson around one, rushing forward. Two, th their guy coming on the ice is gonna cut through, and they're offside, and we got a whistle with 13, 11 to go. I'd like to give a special, special shout out here to Brock, Easton, and Lindsay from Harrow. Hope you guys are enjoying the game. Puck cleared to the corner by Camdenette. Shot, his calling in the stomach, puck is loose. Colin pulls it away and he's gonna come out the other way. He's got Brown, he's got Hawkins, and the Blues are coming down three and two. Colin pulls it back, shot, blocker. And it was loose behind him, but he gets his glove on it, and a big save, almost got a loose rebound that we could knock home. Whew! Rubbard, Kostandoff, Reed, Stevenson, and Rudy. Puck down low. To Kanner, Roblard, puck down low, James there. Roblard shot, goalie didn't see it till it was past him, but it's just a little bit wide. And Orangeville's gonna come out the other way. Kanner, pucks up. Orangeville keeps it in the zone and bang it down low. Stevenson racing against their guy. <laughs> Robillard, 11.36 to go. One to one, and we send it down. It bounced over a stick and they wave off the ice. Mason, for checking on their winger. They're offside and we get the right call there. Yep. 11-19 here to go. Orangeville poked away by Colin. Mace gets it out of the zone. Their D just pulls it back, lets their team clear the zone before he sends it back down low where Colin's gonna pick it up in the corner. Colin's gonna get around the net. He's around one guy, two guys. And we're gonna do this again. Colin Gillis rushes down. Colin down low, tries a little toe drag, loose, oh, bad save, second save, wide. Oh my, nice save by their keeper there. A lot of uh, puck and loose, Peters, shot, wide. Brando on the point, the two big men fighting for the puck. Colin in the corner, he's knocked off the ice and Colin's gonna draw a penalty here. Was Chuck in the circle. Hawkins and Reed up there with him. Puck is back to Stevenson. Stevenson down low to Kaner. Kaner has got Mickey in front. Back to oh Mickey right there. Shot. Oh Henry just misses the tip and a glove save by the goalie. Andrew Stevenson back to Kaner. Stevenson oh poked away by Orangeville and they're going to get it out. Kanner with a nice back check. Driving this guy to the corner. Henry's hanging high. Kanner's gonna pick it up. Take it behind the net. Jam on the brakes and go back from once this guy came. Kanner is gonna break it out. Kanner's got his head up. Nice pass to Mickey. Mickey's gonna bring it into the zone. 
Mickey takes it down low into the corner. Fights through the Orangeville defenseman. Mickey in the corner, passes it off the post in front, and that nets off. With the battle, 1-10 to go here. 9.37 to go, 1-1 one, one in an important Tri-County playoff seeding game. Otis has got that puck, back pass to Samuel. Rister. Colin James fighting two on two. Otis has got the back check too. Otis is gonna come out with it. Otis circles around their guy, poked back. Otis drops it to Samuel. James is on it. James with a good four check. Roblard's gonna pick it up. Roblard spins back around. He's got, he's dangling. Roblard, Roblard back to the point. Oh, tipped away by Urgeville. We're gonna race to the puck. Looks like Samuel's got it. Colin with a good little uh, sneaky interference there and with 25 seconds to go. Samuel Gillis is gonna break away. He tries to get it up to Roblard but goes to Lewis. Back pass to Kaner. Kaner around the big guy. Shot by Kane, wide behind the net. Blues changing, five seconds to go. We try and get it back to the point. Bounces out and over. And the penalty is over. Kane Reed, got a little bit of room. Kaner around one guy, into the scoring zone. Kaner dangles, Kane Reed, shot glove saved by their guy. Nice stop by number 70. 8.15 to go, and a special shout out to the crew at the 208 B shift who are watching, really upping our, uh, our viewership numbers, and we appreciate that. Mickey with a shot off the side of the net. Appreciate everything you guys do to keep our community safe. Gentlemen, hope you have a great but not busy day and shift today. Back to the D, shot, Cam, pat into the corner. Henry, loose, up to Mickey, Riley's there. Mickey to Ry Riley to Mickey. Mickey brings it in, sends it down low. Ooh, loose puck, Riley's there. Blues are trying to keep it in. It looks like they're gonna clear it out. One on three they come. Colin with a nice little poke check. Colin's got a little bit of space, but their guy comes in. That puck is loose. We get a good bounce into the corner where Colin's gonna take a deep breath. Back around Samuel. Up to Brando. We got a three on two if we can break this out. Pass to Peters. Peters drops it to Lewis. Scramble in front, Mays lost his stick. Blues are changing the D, no one back there. And Orangeville sends it down. Where Connor Rudy's gonna pick this up. Rice. Brando. Up to Lewis, Lewis cuts in. Lewis into the corner, he's got two guys in front. Otis knocked off the puck. Good play by their D there. But Otis is gonna take it away from him. It's poked back and out. Breaks Orangeville two on two. Connor's got this guy. Stevenson's got the other guy. Connor stops the puck. Up around, Kane's got it. Kaner. And Mason, two on two the other way. Kaner pulls it back. Shot off a stick. Whopping over the net. Loose puck, Kane Reed behind the net. And down in the corner it goes. Out breaks Orangeville. Shot wide. Under six to go. One to one. Tri County action. The battle for the sixth seed before us. Colin Gillis gonna go for another skate. He's got an edge on the big guy. He cuts in. Colin pokes it in front. It's loose and it's covered. And I don't know if it was gonna count anyhow. I think that net is off. Look at this side. Those of you not in Canada or in Ontario anyhow, you're missing another beautiful three degree and gray day. Uh, I believe we've had about 97 of those in a row right now. Make sure you're taking your vitamin deal. Piak is loose in front. 
And a nice job by their goalie to cover and keep it out about three inches away from the goal line. 5.25 to go here now. Blues continue to pressure, but cannot get that elusive second goal. Watch Chuck in the circle. Riley, back to Andrew. Shot, Mickey, tip, oh, push! Oh, man, what a beauty tip. Had the goalie going the other way and just couldn't find the back of the net. Oh, those are the goals you dream of for tipping one in. Oh, baby. Stevenson. Off a helmet. Here comes Orangeville, shot. Cam, easy pass save. Stevenson up. Puck down into our corner. Puck in front, oh, almost tipped. And right through our crease, 4.35 to go. Henry, up to Riley, who's just gonna chip it down to the goalie with the cover. He pokes it up. We're on goalie assist watch here. Here's the second pass. And it's over. Otis Lewis fighting off the Orangeville players. Otis skates it. Ah, we just couldn't get a hold of it. And it's going to bounce back to Colin. We are nearing the four minute mark to go in the third period. The Blues, the Flyers. Woo! All right, go. Colin's going to go. Colin, he's cutting in. There was that change we were talking about. We don't get the shot. Lewis fighting. Samuel, good job of keeping it down low. Otis is gonna go get it. Let's get someone out in front of the net here, Blues. They try to get it out. Lot of uh, fighting in the corner. Try a cross ice pass, picked off by Colin. Colin keeps it in the zone. Oddly, the one time when you can actually get a change. They send it all the way down, and they're gonna go, no, they're gonna go ice, they go ice. Oh man, a nice soft shot pass if I've ever seen one. Uh, but they could not get it on the stick, and with 3.21 to go in the third period at rink A of the Tony Rose Memorial Sports Center, it's Blues one, Flyers one. The standoff. Roblard skates it out. Roblard tries a backhand. Canner, James. James fighting off two forwards. Connor pinches it in. He gets a shot, tipped again, just wide. Orangeville tries a cross ice pass. It's not there. Connor's going to get to it first. Sends it up to Canner. Canner chips it up and over the forward. Back down, hits another referee. Boys have been playing target pack practice with the officials all day long. Kostandoff goes for a change. Reed goes for a change. Oh, Coach Reed with a nice stop there. That's gonna be offside. Well, these guys are killing me. Um, <laughs> Stevenson up, Hawkins has got it. Hawkins, Hawkins, it's a skate right to Mickey. Oh, poked away by their big guy. 2 10 to go. Here we go again. Mickey tries to get it to Henry. Otis is there. Sa Samuel's going to bring in. Samuel shot off a shin pad. Pokes it around. Henry in front. Otis is there. Samuel's there. Get it on that, boys. No sorry. 145 to go. They try to dump it out. Shot, tipped, in front, and a whistle. Woo! The Blues action here, folks. Holy moly. And we're going to go Rice, Reed, and Kostanoff up front with the Gillises on the back end. 138 to go. Blues won. Flyers won. Rice. They get it up. Canner 
Sends it down low. James, turnover, shot, belly, save. Blues have really been controlling the play here in the third period. Haven't had time to create scoring chances. That side of the one, skate in in the, in the post on Mickey's tip. But lots of great action here. We're down to 1.15 to go. James tries to get it in front. It's the Kaner shot. Ken Reed, Blo blocker, post, something. Brando took a nice cross check in the back there, no call. Good back check. Brandon Rice, oh, just hits the skate. They come the other way. They send it down. Connor Rudy up to Henry Hawkins. Henry's going to go. We got 45 seconds to go. Hooked away by Oakville. Mickey sends it down low. 40 seconds. Orangeville holding on. Oh, Otis with a turnover. Just can't quite get it on his backhand. He's going to cut to his forehand. Tries to go around a guy. Collins got it. Collins going to get around their guy. He's knocked off the puck. One hands it in front. Off a of skate. Off a of stick. Henry just can't bear it home. 20 seconds to go. Puck loose in front. It's in the slot. There's a whistle. They knock us down. They take a penalty. 15 to go. Blues go to the power play. Oh, we take the penalty. Wow, okay. The Dundas fans don't like that call. There's been two evenly matched teams here. A pretty good hockey game. No idea how that was a penalty on us getting run over in front of the net. But hey, folks, they don't pay me to referee. They don't pay me to announce. But I tend to do both more than I should. All right, 15 to go. Mickey in the faceoff drop. We're going to send it down. They're going to keep it in. Their point shot hits us, chin pad, and we're down 7 6. They keep it in, but we're going to end this game. Blues won. Flyers won. A really good hockey game. Happy birthday to everybody who's had a birthday today or recently this week. And we will see you all tomorrow night for the greatest spectacle in sports. Blues hockey followed by some football game. We're going to go to our man Tommy, who's going to give us the final shots. 27-17 for Dundas, which means we had 12 or 13 shots in that period. They had three. But a pretty good game by their goalie, giving it up uh, one goal on uh, 27 shots. Cami, a good game, too. A fun battle. And we'll find out tomorrow what that all means. Have a great day, folks. Signing off from Orangeville, Ontario. Thanks again to our production crew.